son kiria la son holy 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 lord of sabaoth heaven and earth are full of your glory and honor have mercy on us, O God, the Father, the Pantocrator. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord God of hosts, be with us. For we have no helper in our hardships and tribulations but you. Absolve, forgive, and remit, O God, our transgressions, those which we have committed willingly and those which we have committed unwillingly, those which we have committed knowingly and those which we have committed unknowingly, the hidden and the manifest. O Lord, forgive us for the sake of your holy name which is called upon us. Let it be according to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sins. Make us, O Lord, worthy to pray. Thankfully, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine is the kingdom and the power and glory forever and ever. Amen. Glory and honor, honor and glory to the all holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, peace and edification to the one only holy Catholic Apostolic Church of God. Amen. Remember, O Lord, those who are brought unto you, these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices and those who have brought them. Lord, have mercy. Alleluia, the thought of men shall confess you, Lord. Lord, and the remainder of thought shall keep a feast to you. The sacrifices and the offerings receive them to yourself Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Pantocrator. Amen. Blessed be His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. One is the Holy Father, one is the Holy Son, one is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the Lord God forever. Amen. Praise the Lord, all you nations, laud him, all you peoples, for his mercy is confirmed upon us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let us pray. Stand up for prayer. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us give thanks to the benefits of merciful God, the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. For he has covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us himself. Spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. 
Let us also ask in the Lord our God the Pantocrator to guard us in all peace this holy day and all the days of our life. Pray. Lord, have mercy. O Master, Lord God, the Pantocrator, the Father, our Lord God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything concerning everything and in all things for you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to yourself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion on us. Hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and the prayers of his saints, for that which is good on our behalf at all times, and make us worthy to partake of the communion of his holy mysteries, and the blessed of, and bless for the remission of our sins, and to keep the life of our standing of our honored father, Pope Abba Tawadros II, and his partner in the liturgy, of our Shalidus and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O love of mankind, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life and all peace with your fear. All envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of the wicked men, and the rising up of enemies, hidden and manifest, take them away from us and from all your people and from this holy church that is yours. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us, for it is you who has given us the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy. And lead us so of this day, the priests, the deacons, the clergy, and all the people in my weakness, be absolved with the mouth of the All Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, from the mouth of the one only Holy Catholic Apostolic Church, from the mouth of the Twelve Apostles, and from the mouth of the Beholder of God, the Evangelist, St. Mark, the Holy Apostle, and Martyr, the Patriarch, St. Severus, our teacher, discourse, St. Athanasius, the Apostolic, St. Peter, the Holy Martyr, and Archpriest. St. John Chrysostom, St. Cyril, St. Basil, and St. Gregory, and from the mouth of the 318 assembled at night in the 150 Constantinople and 200 at Ephesus, the mouth of our honored Father, the Archpriest, I will to others the second, for my own mouth, being the leaf for blessing, full of glory, is your holy name. O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now at all times and in the age of all ages, amen. I've sinned, forgive me. Say. 
possessions of the Beotoko Saint Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Through the intercessions of the Holy Ark, Angel Gabriel, the herald of glad tidings, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness. Through the intercessions of the Holy Archangel Raphael, the joy of our soul, Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Through the intercessions of the seven archangels and the heavenly orders, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our through the intercessions of the kinsmen of Emmanuel, John, the son of Zacharias, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Through the prayers of the priest Zacharias and his wife Elizabeth, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Through the prayers of the blessed elders, Joachim and Anna, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Through the prayers of my lords and fathers, the apostles and the rest of the disciples, O oh Lord, grant us the forgiveness of through the prayers of the beholder of God, the evangelist Saint Mark, the apostle, Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Through the prayers of the struggle bearer and martyr, Saint Maurice the Theban, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Through the prayers of our holy and righteous Father, Abba Misael, the Anchorite, O Lord, 
Grant us the forgiveness of our sins through the prayers of the bride of Christ, the righteous Saint Verena, the Theban, O Lord. Grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Through the prayers of the saints of this day, each one according to their names, O Lord. Grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Through their prayers, keep the life of our honored Father, the Archpriest Pope of Atawadroso. Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit for you have come and saved us. Paul, the servant of our Lord Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle appointed to the gospel of God, a reading from the epistle of our teacher Paul to the Hebrews. May his holy blessings be with us all. Amen. And what more shall I say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon of Bar and Barak and Samson and Jephthah, also of David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, became valiant in battle, Turned to fight the army, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Women received their dead race to life again. Others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. Still others had trial of mockings and scourgings, yes, and of chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn in two, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and mountains, in dens and caves of the earth. And all these, having obtained a good testimony, through faith did not receive the promise. God, having provided something better for us, that they should not be made perfect apart from us. Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. The Catholic Epistle from the uh, our, from uh, the, the Catholic Epistle from the Epistle of Saint James may his blessing be with us all men. Do not grumble against one another, brethren, lest you be condemned. Behold, the judge is standing at the door. My brethren, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord, an example of suffering and patience. Indeed, we count them blessed who endure. You have heard of the per perseverance of Job, and seen the end intended by the Lord. The Lord is very compassionate and merciful. But above all, my brethren. Do not swear, either by heaven or by earth, or with any other oath. But let your yes be yes, and your no be no, lest you fall into judgment. Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing psalms. 
Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church. Let him pray over him. Anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayers of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him. If he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Confess your trespasses to one another. Pray for one another. They may be healed. The effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours. And he prayed earnestly that it would not rain. And it did not rain on the land for, for three years, six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth produced its fruit. Brethren, if anyone among you wanders from the truth, and someone turns him back, let him know that who turns a sinner from the error of his way will save a soul from death and cover a multitude of sins. Do not love the world or the things in the world. The world is passing away, and it's lost. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Amen. from the Acts of our Fathers, the pure Apostles, who were invested with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May their blessings be with us. Amen. Now a certain Jew named Apollos, born at Alexandria, an eloquent man and mighty in the Scriptures, came to Ephesus. This man had been instructed in the way of the Lord, and being fervent in spirit, he spoke and taught accurately the things of the Lord, though he knew only the baptism of John. So he began to speak boldly in the synagogue. When Achilla and Priscilla heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he desired to cross Achaia, the brethren wrote, exhorting the disciples to receive him. And when he arrived, he greatly helped those who had believed through grace. For he vigorously refuted the Jews publicly, showing from the scriptures that Jesus is the Christ. And it happened, while Apollos was at Corinth, that Paul, having passed through the upper regions, came to Ephesus, and finding some disciples, he said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? 
So they said to him, We have not so much as heard whether there is a Holy Spirit. And he said to them, Into what then were you baptized? So they said, Into John's baptism. Then Paul said, John indeed baptized with a baptism of repentance, saying to the people that they should believe on him who would come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. The word of the Lord shall grow, mul multiply, and be mighty, and be confirmed in the Holy Church of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Today is the 27th day of the Blessed. Sorry. Today is the 13th day of the Blessed Month of Kiak. May God begin it and renew it for us in peace and tranquility while our sins and iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our Lord, my fathers, my brothers, my sisters. Amen. On this day, the Church celebrates the commemoration of the Honorable Archangel Raphael, who brings joy to all hearts. The intercession of the Honorable Archangel Raphael be with us all. Amen. Also on this day of the year 1526 of the martyrs, Pope Mark VIII, the 108th Pope of Alexandria departed. This Holy Father was born in the city of Tima, Suwag Governorate. His parents raised him with a Christian upbringing. When he grew, he became a monk in the monastery of Ambantonius. Pope John XVIII chose him to be his secretary residing in the patriarchal residence. After the departure of Pope Johannes, the father was chosen for the patriarchate. He dedicated himself to exhorting the people, teaching them and confirming them in the Orthodox faith. He made many renovations for the churches and monasteries. He consecrated many bishops, one of whom was Amba Macarius, the Metropolitan of Ethiopia. This father was known for his charitable deeds and his good attributes. He persevered in the ascetic worship and was very simple in his clothing and food. Pope Mark moved the patriarchal residence from Harat at Rum to the great St. Mark Church in Elizabethia, which he consecrated in the year 1517 of the martyrs. 1801 AD. He enjoyed the praises. He enjoyed the praises, and God granted him the gift of composing melodies. The church still recites the litanies of the Vespers praises for the Sundays of Kiak, which he composed. He, when he compelled, completed his good and the varied, departed in peace. The blessing of his prayers be with us all. Amen. On this day also, we commemorate the martyrdom of St. Barsanufius, the monk, also the departure of St. Abrachias, uh, the departure of St. Elias, the anchorite, and the consecration of the Church of St. Misael, the anchorite. May their prayers be with us all, and glory be to our God forever. Amen. the begotten of the Father before all, all ages have mercy upon us according to your great mercy the Worship you, the Savior of him, glorify you, proclaim him, and say, Glorify 
fight among the myriads. You are in sin, so say if you're for you oh, have come and saved us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who was born of the Virgin, have mercy Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who was crucified for us, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who rose from the dead and ascended into the heavens, have mercy upon us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen, O Holy Trinity. Have mercy upon us. Let us pray. Stand up for prayer. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Oh, Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who said to his saintly and honored disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen them. To hear the things which you hear and have not heard them, but as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see in your ears, for they hear me, you be worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospels, through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the holy gospel. Lord, have mercy. Remember also, O oh, our Master, all those who have been in us, to remember them in our supplications and prayers, which we offer unto you, O oh, Lord our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. For you are the life of us all, salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection. Bless all. Blessed is you, comes in the name of the Lord of hosts. Bless the Lord, the reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Oh, 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 oh. Stand in the fear of God and listen to the Holy Gospel a reading of the Gospel according to this and St. Luke. The avenged may his holy place in be with us all. Amen. From the psalm of our teacher David, the prophet, may his holy place in be with us all. Amen. The righteous shall flourish like a balm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those who are belanted in the house of the Lord shall flourish. In the court is of our God. Alleluia. It is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Our Lord, God, Savior, King of us all, 
Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to whom is glory forever and ever. Amen. Little flock for it is your father. Good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell what you have and give alms. Provide your selfish money bags which do not grow old. A treasure in the heaven that does not fail. Where no thief approaches nor math destroy. For where your treasure is there, your heart will be also. Let your ways be guarded and your lamps burning, and you yourselves be like a minnow, wait for their master. When he will return from the wedding, that you when he comes and knocks, they may open to him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the master when he comes will find watching. As surely I say to you that he will gird himself and have them sit down to eat and will come and share them. And if he should come in the second wash or come in the third wash and find them so blessed are those servant. But know that that if the master of the house had known what our the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore also be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Then Peter said to him, Lord, do you speak this parable only to us or to all people? And the Lord said, Who then is the faithful and wise steward, whom his master will come a ruler over his household to give them their portion of food? In Dios is blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly I say to you that he will make him ruler over all that he has. As. Glory be to God for ever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of all ages. Amen. Good morning, everyone. It's great to see you all this morning. You know, when I was younger, one of the the things uh, that I came to realize was really horrible is that I led two different types of lives. You know, a lot of times I said that I have my church friends and I have my school friends. That it was very, it was very separate. My life, two lives were very separate. Like what I did in school or the way I spoke in school or... Um, you know, what I spoke about in school was very different than, you know, what I did with my church friends, if I was really honest. Um, 
I actually don't think that's such an issue as much anymore, like uh, like in the younger generations, like in the, the new generations. I, I look at my children, for instance, and I see them. One time, my children um, were at school, uh, and they came home and they told me, oh, we taught the kids, thine is the power. It was during Holy Week. I'm like, you did what? They're like, yeah, we taught our friends at school, thine is the power. I was like... Oh, okay. And they're like, they went around the, the, the playground and they started singing thine is the power, whatever. And what they realized, what I realized as well is that as they came into church, they were also singing thine is the power. But uh, throughout the, like after, after Easter, they were also singing other songs that were in church that their friends were also singing. So there was like no separation in their life between church and uh, their school life. There was no separation. And it was something so beautiful to see. Like that they, they could be very simplistic. And that they could really live a life of integrity. This morning we hear in the psalm. And it says. Uh, Those who are planted in the house of the Lord. Shall flourish in the courts of our God. And a lot of times I wonder. What does this mean to be planted in the house of the Lord? A lot of us are here. In the house of the Lord. We consider the church the house of the Lord. But what does that mean? Where does that reflect? What should that mean in my life? And I got two quotes over the last two days. That probably were more uh, convicting to me than anything. Uh, and I'll just read them to you. The first is from St. John Chrysostom. And he says. Are you fasting? Show me your fast with your works. If you see someone who is poor, show him mercy. If you see an enemy, reconcile with him. If you see a friend who is becoming successful, don't be jealous of him. This is what St. John is saying. St. John is saying that if you're living within the church, if you're participating in the fast, if you want to be a child of God, then it can't just be merely just because we are sitting in a certain location that our actions need to express it. St. Basil the Great also says, and he says, we should not express our prayer merely in syllables, but the power of prayer should be expressed in our, in our moral attitudes in the mortal, mor, uh, moral attitudes of our souls and the virtuous actions that extend through our life. And I think to me, to me this morning is that we, we need to understand one thing, is that we could fast all we want and we could pray all we want and we could come to church all we want. But yet if we're not being convicted by, sir, by these prayers and by this fasting and by these words that we are hearing in scripture, then what are we doing? We are merely just placing ourselves in the house of the Lord, but we're not being planted. Because being planted means that there should be some sort of growth. Being planted means that there should be some sort of action that happens out of that seed. If I take a seed and I just plant it in, in soil, and even if it's really good soil and that seed doesn't sprout, then what has the seed done? Nothing. That it's important that sometimes that our action truly reflects what we are sitting and listening to and what God is convicting us to. So today, we don't want to just be sitting in the house of the Lord. We want to ask the Lord to plant us, to plant us in a way that he will change, you know, many things that are with, within us. You know, St. John was saying that if you see an enemy, reconcile with him. Okay. We don't, you may not have enemies like, you know, nations have enemies against nations, but we may have people that we are holding a grudge against. We may have family members that we haven't really spoken to in such a long time. And unfortunately, you know, especially this time of year, we have become maybe even just a little bit more stubborn or some people have become more stubborn in terms of reconciling with their, their families. This is the right time to call. This is the easiest time for us to call and to reconcile with our families. This is a time for us to connect with our friends and not be jealous with them, but to be joyful with them uh, in, in their success. This is a time for us that when we see someone poor or somebody less fortunate, this is a time for us to express, even though we may not have much to give, but it's okay for us to give out of the abundance of our heart. 
we know that our attitudes need to change and our ex actions also need to change. So today we're asking the Lord to plant us in the house of the Lord that we may flourish in the courts of our God and glory be to God forever. Amen. The angels sing, blessed are you among women, blessed is the fruit of your womb therefore we glorify you as the mother of god at all times ask the lord on our behalf that he may forgive us our sins blessed be the father the son and the holy spirit the perfect trinity we worship him and Glorify him. I've sinned, forgive me. And the wisdom. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrat, who are creator of heaven and earth and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God. Be God and not created, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary, and became men, and it was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, ascended into the heavens, he sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we confess one baptism for the remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. We look for the resurrection of the dead. And the life of the age to come. Oh, amen. I have sinned. Please pray for me and forgive me. Let us pray. Stand up for prayer. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. O oh God, the great, the eternal, who for man in incorruption and death, which entered into the world through the envy of the devil, you have destroyed by the life-giving manifestation of your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. You have filled the earth with the heavenly peace by which those of angels glorify you, saying glory to God in the highest peace on earth and goodwill to all Lord's men. Pray for perfect, perfect peace, love, and the holy apostolic kisses. Lord, have According to your good will, O oh God, fill our hearts with your peace. Cleanse us from all blemish, all guile, all hypocrisy, all craftiness, and remembrance of evil, entailing death, and make us all worthy. O oh, our Master, to greet one another with a holy kiss, without casting into condemnation. We partake of your mortal and heavenly gifts in Christ Jesus our Lord. Greet one another with holy kiss, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Offer, 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 offer in order, stand with trim and look towards the east, let us attend. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Saint Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, for you have come and saved us. A mercy of peace, a 
sacrifice of, of praise. The Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have the Give thanks to the Lord. It is me. And right. Meet and right, meet and right, true. Meet and right. O oh, you, the being master, Lord God of truth, being before the ages and reigning forever, who dwells in the eyes and looks upon the lowly, who has created the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that is there, and the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, by whom you have created all things visible and invisible, who sits upon the throne of his glory, and who is worshipped by all the holy powers. You who are seated, stand. Before whom stand the angels, the archangels, the principalities, the authorities, the thrones, the dominions, and the powers. Look towards the east. You are here, on whom stand the cherubim full of eyes, and the seraphim with six wings, praising continuously without ceasing, say, Let us attend. The cherubim worship you, and the seraphim glorify you, proclaiming and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord of us, heaven and earth are full of your holy glory. formed us, created us, and placed us in the paradise of joy when we disobeyed your commandment by the deception of the serpent, fell from eternal life, and were exiled from the paradise of joy. You have not abandoned us to the end, but have always visited us through your holy prophets. And in the last days you did manifest yourself to us who were sitting in darkness and the shadow of death. Three only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, who of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Virgin Mary. Oh, 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 was incarnate and became man and taught us the ways of salvation and Granted us the birth from on high through water and spirit, he made us unto himself an assembled people and sanctified us by your Holy Spirit. He loved his own who are in the world and gave himself up for our salvation unto death, which reigned over us, whereby we were bound and sold on account of our sins. He descended into Hades through the cross. Amen. Third day, a 
ascended into the heavens and sat at your right hand, O Father, he has appointed a day for recompense, on which he will appear to judge the world in righteousness and give each one according to his deeds. According to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our instituted for us this great mystery of godliness for being determined to give himself up for the life of the uh, world we took bread into his holy hands which are without spot or blemish blessed and life giving we believe that this is true up towards heaven to your God who are his father and master of everyone and when he had given thanks Amen. he blessed it Amen. he sanctified it the disciples and holy apostles saying take heed of it all of you for this is my body which is broken for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins this do in remembrance of me this is true So the cup after supper, he makes it of wine and water, and when he had given thanks, Amen. he blessed it, Amen. he sanctified it. Amen. Again, we believe, we confess. Do we glorify? He tasted and gave it also to his own holy disciples and saintly apostles, saying, Take drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins this do in remembrance of, of me this is also true This cup you proclaim my death, confess my resurrection, and remember me till I come. Amen, 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 your death, O oh Lord, we proclaim your holy resurrection. And ascension into the heavens we confess. We, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O 
and his resurrection from the that is ascension into the heavens is sitting at your right hand O father and his second coming from the heavens awesome and full of glory we offer unto you your gifts from what is yours for everything concerning everything everything worship god in fear and trembling we praise you we bless you we serve you we worship you Attend. Amen. Yes. We ask you, O Lord our God, we your sinful and unworthy servants. We worship you by the pleasure of your goodness that your Holy Spirit descend upon us and upon these gifts. Set forth, change them, and manifest them as the sanctification of your saints. And this bread he makes into his holy body. I believe. Oh, amen. And this cup also the precious blood of his new covenant. Again, I believe. Oh, amen. For the remission of sins and eternal life to those who partake of him. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Make us a worthy or master to partake of your holy is unto the purification of our souls, bodies, and spirit, that we may become one body and one spirit. May have a share and inheritance with all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Remember, O Lord, the peace of your one only, holy Catholic Apostolic Church. Lord, <coughs> have mercy. That's what you have acquired to yourself with the precious blood of your Christ. Keep her in peace with all the Orthodox bishops who are in her. For most remember, O Lord, our blessed and honored Father, the Archbishop, our Patriarch, of Tadros the Second. Lord, have mercy. <coughs> and those who rightly define the word of truth with them, and grant them unto your only church to shepherd your flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox Hegemons, priests, and deacons. Lord, have mercy. And all the servants and all who are in celibacy in the purity of all your faithful people, remember, O Lord, to have mercy upon on us all. Have mercy upon us, O God the Father, the Pantocrator. Remember, O Lord, the salvation of this your holy place and every place and every monastery of our Orthodox Fathers. Lord, have mercy. And those who dwell therein in God's faith graciously accord the Lord, the air of them and the fruits of the earth, the waters of the rivers, the seeds, the herbs, and the plants of the field this year. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Praise them to the 
the branches according to your grace give joy to the face of the earth may its fruits be water the may its fruits be wonderful may its fruits be plentiful prepared for sowing and harvesting manage our lives as the infant bless the crown of the year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people the widow the orphan the foster child the traveler the stranger and for the sake of all of us treat you and seek your holy name for the eyes of everyone who wait upon you free give them their food in due season deal with us according to your goodness so you give food to all flesh fill our hearts Join gladness that we too have insufficiency in everything always may abound in every good need. Lord have mercy. Remember, Lord, those who are brought to you, these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all. The heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices, our sacrifices, and those who have brought them. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, is the command of your only begotten Son that we share in the commemoration of your saints. Graciously accord, O Lord, to remember all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning, our holy fathers, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs. The confessors and all the spirits of the righteous perfected in the faith, most of all the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, holy, Theotokos, Saint Mary, truly gave birth to God, the Logos, and Saint John, the forerunner, Baptist, and martyr, Saint Stephen, the archdeacon, and first of the martyrs, the beholder of God, the evangelist, Saint Mark, the holy apostle, and martyr. Patriarch, Saints of Verse, Saint Peter, Discourse, Saint the, the Apostolic, Saint Peter, the Holy Martyr and High Priest, Saint John Chrysostom, Saint Theodosius, Saint Theophilus, Saint Demetrius, Saint Cyril, Saint Basil, Saint Gregory the Theologian, Saint Gregory the Wonder Worker, Saint Gregory the Armenian. The 318 assembled at Nice and the 150 at Constantinople, 200 at Ephesus, our righteous father, the great Abba Anthony, the righteous Abba Paul, three saints of Mercury, and all their children, the cross bears. Our father, Abba John the Incoming, our father, Abba Bishoy, the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior. Father of Paul of Tamun, Ezekiel, is the disciple, my Lord, the Roman Father, Saint Maximus, and the Jews, the forty-nine martyrs, the elders of Sheet, strong Saint of Moses, John Cam, the priest, Father of Daniel, the Hegaman, our Father of Sidor, the priest. Our father of Apachum, of the Kononia, and Theodore is the disciple. Our father of Ashinuti, the Archmander, and Abawis is the disciple. Our father of Apop, Corlys, the sixth man of prayer, and Habib Gergis, the Archdeacon. Our father, Saint Bishoy, Camel, the priest. And Abba Yosus Our Father, Saint Maurice the Theban, and our Mother, Saint Vrina, the Bride of Christ, and all the choir of your saints, through whose prayers and supplication the mercy on us all and save us for the sake of your holy name, which is called. All the pun Let those who read 
Recite the names of our holy fathers, the patriarchs who have fallen asleep. O Lord, repose their souls and forgive us our sins. Their holy blessing be with us. Amen. Glory to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless us. Lord, repose them. Amen. Those, O Lord, and everyone whose names we have mentioned, and those who have not mentioned, those whom each one of us has in mind, and those who are not in mind, those who have fallen asleep and repose in the faith of Christ, remember, O Lord, your servant, Dr. Rufenus. Graciously, O Lord, repose all their souls in the bosom of our holy fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Sustain them in a green pasture beside the still waters in the paradise of joy. The place out of which grief, sorrow, and groaning have fled away. In the light of your sin. Lord, have mercy. Those, O oh Lord, whose souls you have taken, repose them in the paradise of joy in the region of the living forever in the heavenly Jerusalem, in that place, and we too, who are sojourners in this place, grant us your peace unto the end. As it was and shall be from generation to generation and unto all ages of ages. to your kingdom that has in this also and all things your great and holy name may be glorified blessed and exalted in everything honored and blessed was jesus christ your beloved son and the holy spirit peace be with you all, and with your spirit again. Let us give thanks. To God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior Jesus Christ, for He has made us worthy now to stand in this holy place, to lift up our hands and to serve His holy name. Let us also ask Him. To make us worthy of the communion partaken of as the one and immortal mystery is. Amen. The holy body. We were 
worship your holy body and the precious blood and your precious blood of his grace the pentacrator the Lord Lord, our God. Amen, amen, pray. Lord, have mercy. Creator, invisible, infinite, unchangeable, immeasurable, who sent his true light, his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, the call, oh, eternal Lord. Oh, 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 oh. fatherly bosom at all times had come down and dwelt in the undefiled virgin womb. She, being a virgin, gave birth to him in her virginity. Is he low? The angel praise him. And the heavenly host chant to him, saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your holy glory. Likewise, we to the weak and sinful make us worthy with them. O oh, our Master, the good one and lover of mankind, so that with a pure heart we may praise you with him and the Holy Spirit, the coessential Trinity, and raise our eyes towards you, O oh, our Holy Father, who are in the heavens, and say, Our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In Christ Jesus our Lord, bow your heads to the Lord. Fear of God.
Remember, Lord, our assembly is blessed them. Save the man and with your spirit in the fear of God, let us attend. Amen, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. The holy is our for the holy. Blessed be the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, sanctification is by the Holy Spirit. And amen. One is the Holy Father, one is the Holy Son, one is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The only body in the precious true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. Amen. Amen. The only precious body. And the true blood of Jesus Christ, Son of our God, Amen. Amen. The body and the blood of Emmanuel, our God, this is true, Amen. Amen. I believe and confess to the last breath that this is the life-giving flesh that your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, took from our Lady, the Lady of us all, the only Theotokos, St. Mary, made it one with the divinity, without mingling, without confusion, without alteration, confessed a good confession before Pontius Pilate. Gave it up for us upon the only one of the cross of his own will for us all truly, I believe. That is, divinity parted not from his humanity for a single moment or a twinkling of an eye. Given for us for salvation, remission of sins, and eternal life. To those who partake of him, I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen. Confess to the last breath that this is so in truth, Amen. Pray for us and for all Christians who said to us concerning them, Remember us in the house of the Lord. The peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. Sing Alleluia. Pray for the worthy partaking of the Immaculate and heaven, Heavenly and Holy Mysteries. Lord have mercy. worthy that you should come under the roof of my house for I am sinful but only say the word and my soul shall be healed say unto my soul your sins are forgiven I am barren and in need of your righteousness your compassion your mercy and your love humbled yourself and descended from the heavens in unutterable glory to our lowly state and accepted to be born in a manger holy Savior do not reject my humble and miserable soul which is waiting for your glorified coming to, come into my soul. to cleanse it, as you do not refuse to enter into the leper's house to heal him. Please, O Lord, enter into my soul and heal me. Do not forbid me from receiving your holy body and your precious blood, as you do not forbid the woman who is a sinner from kissing your feet. May my communion with you banish every defilement and mortify my evil desires. Help me obey your life-giving commandments and heal my soul and body from all sins that I may accept your gifts. May your grace dwell in me, and may your spirit abide in you, and, and may, may, that I may live for the glory of your holy name. Amen. The holy is our for the holies. 
Blessed be the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Sanctification is by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The holy body and the precious true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. Amen. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This and organs alleluia the only begotten of the father before all the ages praise him with pleasant sounding symbols alleluia the only begotten of the father before all the ages praise him upon the symbols of joy alleluia the only begotten of the father before all the ages let everything that us breath praise the name of the lord our god the begotten of the father before all the ages, glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, glory to you, our God, the begotten of the Father, before all the ages. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to our God, alleluia. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, hear us and have mercy on us. The burning bush seen by Moses, the prophet in the wilderness, the fire inside it was a flame, but never consumed 
or injured it. The same with the Theotokos Mary carried the fire of divinity. Nine months in her holy body, her virginity, I open my mouth and proclaim and utter hidden mysteries, praising the Mother of Light Mary. Blessed is the pride of the human race. Because of your Son we became freed from the bondage, and from Satan's bonds we are saved. Blessed is the pride of the human race, the sayings about you were fulfilled, and all the prophecies and the proverbs about the birth of Emmanuel. Blessed is the pride of the human race. Gabriel came with good tidings about the dwelling of the Logos, a virgin carrying her Lord, and her virginity is sealed, the burning bush seed. Is the prophet in the wilderness? The fire inside it was a flame, but never consumed or injured it. The same with the Theotokos Mary, aka the fire of divinity. My months in her holy body, without blemishing her virginity. His Holy Spirit came upon you and took from you the humanity, a true human you did carry. Blessed is the pride of the human race, he saved Adam and his children, and cured him from the serpent's venom, and returned his honor to him. Blessed is the pride of the human race. David, your father, spoke of you and prophesied about the birth. The God of gods became your son. Blessed is the pride of the human race. You became a mother of your maker that mankind may be saved. He came and dwelt in your womb, and the seal was shut in purity. The burning bush seen by Moses, the prophet in the wilderness. The fire inside it was a flame, but never consumed or The same with the Theotokos Mary. Carry the <coughs> divinity, my months in her holy body, without blemish, sing her virginity. Alleluia, 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 praise God in all his saints, Alleluia. Unto our God, us do glory and praise, praise the Lord, our God, with a good song, praise Him in the firmament of His power. To our God is due glory and praise, praise the Lord, our God, with a, a good song. Praise Him for His mighty acts, alleluia, unto our God is due glory 
and praise, praise the Lord. Oh, our God, with a good song. Praise Him according to the multitudes of His greatness. Alleluia. To our God is to glory and praise, praise the Lord, our God, with a good song. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet, Alleluia, unto our God is the glory and praise, praise the Lord, Lord our God, with a good song. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let men their hearts employ. While fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Blessed be God, the Father, the Pantocrator. Amen. Amen. Blessed be His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Amen. O angel of the sacrifice, flying up to the highest with this hymn. Remember us before the Lord, that He may forgive us our sins. Let us praise what the angels sing. Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, and goodwill towards men. Amen. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. We proclaim and say, O our Lord Jesus Christ, the begotten of the Father before all the ages, save us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy mercy. Lord, bless us. Amen. Bless me. Bless me. Lord, the repentance, forgive me. Say the blessing. O Christ our God. Amen. So be it. O King of peace, grant us your peace. Establish first your peace and forgive us our sins. For thine is the power, the glory, the might forever. Amen. Our Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one in christ jesus our lord for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory lord. forever amen now the love of god the father the grace of his only begotten son our lord god and savior jesus christ the gift and communion of the holy spirit be with you all go in peace the peace of the lord be with you today's liturgy was in commemoration of the 40th day of our beloved dr Rufanus. Uh, we ask the lord to comfort the whole family uh, we pray for you, and we ask you for your prayers as well. Uh, be safe. I think there's a big storm that is coming in, apparently, over the next couple of days. So please be safe uh, over the next few days. Also, uh, we're, we'll be sending out an email for all the services that are going to happen over the, the holiday break. So just between, uh, you know, Christmas and also like the, uh, the New Year's program and so forth. So there will be a few extra liturgies here and there, and you get to pick and choose what you want to come to. If not, you want to come to all of them, come to all of them. God bless you all. It was great to see you.